The only Pacific MP in New Zealand's National Party is vying for the Pacific portfolio. 29-year-old Angie Nichols was born in the Cook Islands and moved to New Zealand with her family 20 years ago. Lydia Lewis spoke with the Te Atatū MP-elect, Angie Nichols. I myself am actually quite amazed at the result in the weekend. And who's the most excited out of your family, your staunchest supporter? Oh man, I have so I, I literally have a few key people, but I will always say, and um, because it's very true, my parents and so my mum Jean Nicholas and my dad, uh, his name is Nga Mokopuna Nicholas. And what did they say to you? Yeah, I was actually on my feet almost the whole night watching the results come in and we had a little watch party of our own and so everyone was sort of in the same room um, together and my mum had a good old time just you know watching eyes were fixed on the screen Um, they're they're kind of different my mum and dad and my dad was on his feet he was sitting on his feet and then he'd he'd be up standing and um, at one point he had his phone out recording (laughs) the tv and so yeah no I just um But they've told me they're just super happy, obviously. The journey itself has been a big one for us as a family. So that was cool to be able to celebrate together. Why has it been such a big journey for yourself and for your family? I guess because, you know, it's it's just tied to my own personal story or our story as a family coming here and um, wanting to really, my parents really wanting to give me a life that they almost didn't have, for example, you know, going to school. Both my parents, they um, neither of them finished high school. So my, my parents are actually from two different islands. My dad's from Mangaya and my mum is from Rarotonga, but, but we uh, uh, we lived um, on the main island of Raro. And so that was a pretty big, I guess, dream accomplished because, you know, we think about where we came from. It wasn't just over the last few months me being selected it was a moment of reflection uh, of thinking back where we actually came from as a family to where we are today. And um, for them, because my, my parents say this to me, um, yeah, my success is their success, you know, and it's very true because we've, you know, I just very thankful for the people that were around me to help get me to this point. Obviously my parents played a big role in that uh, and they really navigated my my own journey personally through high school, through university, through my working years and now in politics. Now looking at the current time, it's been such a long journey for you. Is being the only Pacifica MP elect a weight on your shoulders? Potentially, you know, you may be the only MP in in government who's Pacifica. Yeah. Yeah, I think I um not to me personally, no, I don't like I don't feel the weight of that. Obviously I know how important it is though for Pacific communities to see someone who looks like them in Parliament. But we are a part of it a team. This is a team sport and we campaigned on the same things across the country uh, as a you know, as a national party team to help take um our country forward. And so I have confidence in that. Obviously, I would love to still be here after special votes are counted. No doubt about that. But the focus is really to try and get everyone moving ahead. Is one Pacific MP in Nationals government good enough? Ideally, you would actually like more, right? And I don't think just for the National Party. I think for every political party, any Pacific person to see someone standing in parliament is a huge privilege um particularly for pacific communities to be able to see their voice you know see someone who looks like them as i have said uh representing them in parliament but also you know tied to that in your role as as an mp um you are there to represent like i'm pacific that's that's a voice that i bring to parliament but i'm also from te Atatū, and then i speak for all people from that community and then, you know, I'm a New Zealander. So, it, yeah, I think having someone there is great. But we need to have confidence, as I've said, as a party, we have campaigned on these issues and people have voted for that. 
what would your reaction be to National bowing to ACT and scrapping the Ministry for Pacific Peoples? My view is the same as, as the Prime Minister-elect, as, as the same as Christopher Luxon. Um, our position has been pretty clear that we would not, MPP would stay with the national government. And now moving forward, what are your priorities for this term? To be quite honest, I want to make sure that I deliver. Being a really competent, you know, first time MP is is actually the focus for me going into this. Of course, that's pending special votes, etc. It's kind of too early to speculate on, you know, what I'd like to do because, you know, those decisions haven't been made around portfolios, etc. Do you have but, a three maybe yeah. that you're interested in? Uh, well, um, I mean, I I would love to, obviously, one of them is, is being able to maybe Pacific people, it's being the spokesperson for that because obviously I'm Pacific, but more than that, as a part of my journey being a Pacific growing up, basically, here in New Zealand, you sort of see the importance of making sure that we set our kids up well for the future and there are opportunities that, you know, if, if they choose to make New Zealand their home, that they, that they can get ahead.